Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I got a package here in the mail. And let's see here. I'm gonna cut out the address here so you don't know where I live. Cause that won't be good, right? Bought this off eBay. Let me show you what it is here. It's got to use plenty of tape there. So. This is a bunch of crap here. Ah ha ha ha. Whoa. This thing is bigger than I thought it'd be. Can you guess what that is? It's a router. This is a, the router is a Netgear Nighthawk. Nice. So this is a uh, Nighthawk AC1900 DST. You can't even see that. This is uh, supposedly it doesn't turn on. Oh, you know what? Interesting that it has this because this is a built-in power supply. So. I bought it from eBay and basically it, it, it said that it doesn't work. Let me find a power adapter first. Awesome. I got a little short power adapter here. Let me power it up. Let's see if it'll reach. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> Let me move things around here. That way you can still see. So, we're gonna power it on, see what it does. I don't see or hear anything. Geek spot, really? There's a geek spot button. I don't see or hear anything, um, which is crazy. LED button was off here, but let's see here. Let's try it. Try it again here. I don't see any lights at all. Let me see if I can show y'all. Um, there is power introduced here, and I don't hear anything either. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna troubleshoot, and then we're gonna see what's going on here um i do like the fact that there is no power supply or that there's a external power supply or an internal power supply sorry because most likely there's a fuse in here and of course maybe the fuse might have been blown some of that but it could have been a transistor it could have been something lightning strike or something like that so we're gonna open it up and hopefully we can repair this bad boy this is some crazy oh this is a some security um, screws here. Some weird ones there. It's hard to see. It's like a Torx with the. You no, know, it's just a Torx. So, stick around. We're gonna see what's going on. Alright, so. We're gonna need the Torx here. A Torx tip here. Um, excuse my focus here. Let's see if I can fine tune this. Anyways, first we gotta do is you guys move these pads. These pads right here. They're just basically sticky tabs. I 
There's gonna be torques, um, screws all over there, so do that. I'm guessing there's, oh well, there's none on this one. So we can put this one back. Let's try this one here. And um, I'm, if you notice my, my video quality kind of changed a bit, I'm using a different camera. Uh, one of my older cameras, this one's good. But uh, it's, it's my Sony NEX3N, which is a, kind of a hybrid DSLR. And I'm using it only because I want to kind of experiment more on on a better camera than just a regular phone camera. This one has a screw. So all we have is this one, this one, this one. And I hope we don't have anything here. Feels like we have a screw in here. Feels like it, so we'll see. It might be like the little manufacturer warranty thing here. Support initial. That's not the right one. Let's go ahead and get the right one here. There we go. Oh, that was actually a screwed uh, Phillips Phillips head. These two. So I guess we have one, six, one uh, regular one or one Torx, and one Phillips. And let's see if it pops out now. I'm not sure how this comes out, but we'll find out. Snaps off, huh? All right, we have one here in this little tag. So we're gonna take this tag off. So this is probably where there's like a warranty stick or so. Don't do this if you're still under warranty, you guys. This is most likely Phillips, too. Hmm. Let's check it out. Let's see. No, this is a this is a Torx one. Interesting. <laughs> Take this off now. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna break this. Oh, there it goes. Missed the screw. I sure did. I sure missed the screw there. I would have broken it. It's a Phillips. It's 
we have two um, two torques, two Phillips heads. All right, and welcome to the Nick Year Nighthawk. Cool. So first things first, we gotta get this board out of here. So let's unplug this bad boy. See if we can remove this guy. Oh, interesting how this is unplugged. Why would this be unplugged here? Please don't tell me that was it. <laughs> hmm. This is unplugged like this. So I wonder if maybe that needs to be plugged in here. I would be really surprised at this such an easy fix. So I will be powering it on. Give me a second here. Me and my short little power thingy. Powered on. Amazing. That gentlemen and ladies, it's amazing that um, something so small can just slide out and cause so many problems. <laughs> uh, we're gonna verify and make sure that. We have Wi-Fi and all that stuff coming out. Even though there's no antennas, I should still be able to connect the network and see if there's any Wi-Fi being broadcasted. So let's see here. That first light should be the, kind of like the power light. Yeah, it's the power light. So once we start seeing the antennas on, we should still, we should be able to, um, so we have the power and all that stuff here. So once the, the I believe that the, that should be turned white in a, in a moment here. We'll see here. I know that these net gear routers take a bit to turn on. And one way that I can check is if I plug in two Cat 5s directly to the back, we should have some sort of activity light up here. So let's see. I really wonder if that was the issue. So yeah, we have activity now. Uh, let's, let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, so we have 2.4 and 5G broadcasting, and then we have, I don't know what that, that one is. Let's see if we have activity. If I plug this in, then we should have it. We should be good, the router should be good. So here's one plugged in. And here's the other one. Should be the one of these two lights here. There it is. So, huh, interesting. Now let's make sure that I can pick it up with my phone here. So, let's see here. I'll go to, sorry about the zoom, or the focus guys. There we go. I have a techie life here. It's really hard to see. Um, and it looks like Netgear 009, Netgear 09 5G. Man, this is, this is unbelievable. There we go. Uh, so this has a password already, Pink Owl 952. Let's go into it. Pink Owl 952. Sorry, y'all can't see much. Ah, it works. It actually works. Interesting. And it's gonna say sign in to Netgear, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna basically want to do an update and do all this stuff. This is awesome. Wow, I didn't think that would be so easy. Um, let me turn it off now here. 
That was that was a little too easy. <laughs> oh man. So I guess, um, like I said, you know, having a built-in power supply was was kind of cool because let me take this off. You know, that's that's another thing that this can go wrong in. But in the repair world, that's something that I can always blame uh, the power supply here. So we have. Let me see if I can show y'all. We have the power introduced here with the red. Um, get swinged around to this little um, connector, and then back. Looks like it was there's some, some capacitor, maybe probably a fuse in there. And if y'all saw that this was actually unplugged, um, which connect this connects to this board, uh, which might connect to this board, and then also this board. So maybe there's. I'd have to remove this and to see to check it all out, but. Right now the capacitors are kind of charged up, so I might get shocked if I mess with this. Let's see here. Hmm. I am really, really shocked how easy that was. I'm just wondering how that connector was so bad. So bad to a point that it wasn't even locked in. Hmm. So, essentially, I got a pretty good router for the price of, uh, I think I paid, how much did I pay for this thing? Let me see if I can go back to my purchases. Purchases, I paid $17.24 for this router. What a deal. All I need is the antennas, and the antennas are kind of, kind of easy to get actually. So 17 bucks for an AC 1900 Nighthawk. Cool guys. Well, I wish I, I wish there was something else wrong with it so I can show y'all how to fix it. But that's it. <laughs> till next time, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for subscribing and till the next one again.